Thanks for watching Film Buff, really, honestly. It's <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> Alright. How's it going guys? My name is M Film Buff. Alright man, let's move along to episode 13. That's the newest one. I'm finally gonna be caught up after this. But yeah, quick recap. Last episode was all about Rick and Michonne and you know taking their uh, relationship further and showing us more of um um this connection they've built. Um they they found a lot of guns, but not enough. Um and Rosita and Sasha are uh, dead set on taking on Negan and are down to just die for the cause, you know, kamikaze mission. Yeah, it's obviously a quick recap, but you know, that's all that's really needed. Uh, I just want to get right into this episode, so yeah, let's do it. Ezekiel's looking a little down, man. He's usually pretty happy, like a happy-go-lucky type of guy. Ooh, someone's out here, man. Cause that one was alive, on her way to uh, Alec uh, the kingdom. This guy. Leave the cobbler. Rune, Jerry. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you can't say no to that face. Come on. Who's the girl? <laughs> Take a look if you want, but keep your guns up. I think I know what's going on here. Echelon right. Force towards the building over there. Let's close around the king. I got cover. It was him. This piece of shit was out here just now, remember? I want your guns too. We did not agree to that. Well, you got a choice. Same one that's been there since the beginning, I guess. You can give up your guns, or you can try to use well, he's them. Sh he's shaking, man. What's it gonna be? We should give them over, Your Majesty. Yeah. We should give him over, Your Majesty. <laughs> so Maybe I'll just shove this down your throat. Dude, someone shut this guy up, seriously. I counted them. I did. This is impossible. It's possible. Now, you have to learn the stakes here. So we're going to teach you. You don't have to do anything. We'll get you twice the tribute in an hour. Right now is the only time that matters. And right now, you haven't held up your side of the bargain. After we have talked about things over and over again and again. This piece of shit. Look at that look, he knows. And we're gonna <clears throat> deal with all of this. Let's do it. Okay. No! No! Everybody settle down. We need to get Benjamin back to the kingdom. Give the man his damn stick. Get in the truck. Don't say a goddamn word. Did he not notice like gunshots going off? We need to get back. No. Right now, you have to listen for once. Be present and listen. You will make your deliveries on time, every time, and they will be complete. You did this. 
to injure an opponent is to injure yourself. Sorry for coming to you. Okay. Oh, God. Hmm. Stay away from me. Just let me. Chill, man. Explain. Yeah, it should start with you. You might as well just kill damn donkey. Ah, that's the shot from the opening. It makes sense. Right, the blood and Ezekiel looking all down. I just want to say, we get it. We understand. Back up, man. Let Morgan do his thing. Stay out of it, man. Stay out of it. that we need to do, that we know how to go on. That's what Richard was telling him. Good. Some fantastic acting, man. Lenny James. He wanted it to be him. Thought he could choose, and that's why Dwayne had to die. Dwayne. That's his son, right? <laughs> Benjamin. Benjamin, that's why Benjamin. Do you want to know what happened in Alexandria? Okay. All right, man. Negan killed Glenn and Abraham. What? Beat him to death with a baseball bat. Now the saviors have Alexandria and Rick and everybody else. Everything they do is for the saviors now.
I'm gonna be here now. We have to get ready. We have to fight. Carol's back in. We do. So is Ezekiel, huh? But not today. Ooh, he's sharpening his stick, man. What was that? Man, I hope, um... I hope, uh, you know, he doesn't start getting paranoid again because the show showed us signs of him going back to that, you know, crazy state. Uh, so there it is. Um, Ezekiel and Carol are in the fight. I mean, uh, you know, they confirmed it right at the end. Uh, even Ezekiel now knows what has to be done. Uh, but of course, you know, he did say it doesn't have to be today. But now, you know, mentally, he's prepared himself. He knows what has to come next. And so is Carol, you know, uh, a bunch of things this episode uh, led Carol to finally make the choice to, you know, enter the fold. You know, she's been out of it for a little bit. She's been trying to stay out of it for a bit, but she's back now. Uh, she feels like she needs to get back in there. Uh, uh, one of the things that really concerned me from this episode was uh, Morgan. Uh, they showed us a glimpse, uh, more than a glimpse, actually, of him falling back into his... Uh, crazy days you know his uh, mannerisms and uh, he you know he would see things like he would hallucinate and stuff um, so he was kind of falling back into that you know the loss of Ben uh, Benjamin really really got him it, it kind of triggered a relapse almost you know I hope it doesn't uh, get too crazy I hope you know uh, he can keep it under control because you know because I don't want to see him go back to that you know I don't want to see him uh, lose it all and you know lose sight of uh, reality again uh, you know because for me Morgan uh, he's one of my personal favorites from you know uh, I just absolutely love him you know for a lot of reasons you know um, uh, the character himself is such a uh, such a fantastic character man I just really love the character how he cares for everyone how he doesn't want to kill um, also Lenny James I'm a big Lenny James fan uh, he's a brilliant actor and his acting was on display man this episode oof you know, um, Bravo, uh, not that he needs it from me, but, you know, you know, I'm so happy he's in the Blade Runner sequel. That's one of my most anticipated movies of uh, 2017. Yeah, you know, for me, he's one of the few characters, uh, you know, one, one of the two or three characters that would really, really make me upset. You know, I'd be pretty upset if uh, Morgan was to die at any point of the show. Um, you know, alongside Morgan, uh, Daryl. Uh, is my other favorite, you know, and Rick is in there as well. But I feel like I'm more attached to Daryl and Morgan. Uh, but Rick, you know, how can you not like Rick? I like, you know, I really like Rick. But, you know, in terms of attachment, Morgan and Daryl, man. Uh, so if anything ever happens to Morgan, uh, all right, man, let's talk about Richard. He had no right at all to take such a substantial risk. I mean, no, no chance, you know, that was foolish. That was selfish. That was... Uh, he was an asshole for doing that. You know, his goal was to get Ezekiel to enter the fight. And that's what happened, right, by the end. But, you know, I, I don't agree at all in the manner he goes about doing this. You know, he he's this is twice he's done this now that he's put other people's lives at risk just, just to make a point, just to um, trigger this uh, emotional uh, response. The first time he put Carol at risk, and obviously Daryl shut that shit down quick. And this time... Um, yeah, he wanted it to be him, you know, uh, but again, that's not a guarantee. That's the risk you take. And uh, young Benji, Benjamin, uh, he's dead, man. And, you know, I'm starting to like this kid. You know, he, you know, I call him a young Ryan Gosling. You know, he's got a resemblance to him. But like, um, there was hints in this episode that, you know, Benji might not be uh, around for too much longer. Um, they, I remember there's a shot of the barrel, uh, the one guy uh, rolling the barrel. And then for some reason, uh, the shot just lingered on uh, the melons in the barrel and there's some dramatic music in the background obviously at that point um, it didn't make sense but now it makes sense right they're trying to foreshadow uh, something to do with the melons right not that I'm blaming Carol at all I'm just saying you know I'm just making a connection here of a what if situation right uh, Benjamin uh, you know he's like I would love to follow you and just see you do your thing and I could skip my drop off um, 
uh, for today. Uh, if Carol had taken him, then that would take him out of that scenario altogether, right? Uh, again, I'm not I'm not blaming Carol. I'm just saying, you know, what could have been. And as Carol's going back to her uh, little house, she saw the walker. Um, you know, it was killed. And Carol's kind of looking at it. He's like, huh, this one was alive last time I, you know, uh, crossed this place. Now it's dead. So obviously someone's there. Um, obviously later it was clear that it was Richard that was there and he's actually setting this whole shit up. It really messed Morgan up. This, you know, this really messed Morgan up because uh, he got, again, he got close to this kid. You know, he cared for this kid. Uh, he's like a mentor to this kid. Um, and, you know, and seeing him dead on the table, uh, it really triggered, you know, it triggered something. And Morgan, you know, there was a powerful, you know, there's a powerful scene of him just kind of, uh, you know, this is right before he kicks a bucket and sees the melon. Just, you know, um, there's like cut shots of like his past and Dwayne, his son, and Morgan just, you know, screaming. And it's almost kind of like he had to go through losing a son again. And then at the next drop off, um, he, he's, he's like done, man. He's like, fuck this. He, he goes after Richard. He takes him on bare hands, man. That's like pff, savage. And um, the interesting thing is, you know, he gets up and he goes face to face with the guy uh, from the Saviors the leader type he, and he basically repeats exactly what Richard was talking about so yeah man if, and you know even after that um he he wanted to be alone also you know also he tells Carol all about Alexandria and now Carol knows you know obviously that has triggered Carol as well she's like whoa okay I, I you know I guess that made her realize okay I need to be part of this um uh, my friends are dying and if I can help I should be helping and yeah, man. After that, Morgan was ready to just be like a Ronin, go out there and take out um uh, anything in in his path. But you know, uh, Carol did the right thing. She's like, okay, you can be gone, but not be gone. That takes us to the last shot, man. Um, there is a bit of um, uh, yeah, he's sharpening his stick. You know, uh, you know, some foreshadowing going on there that you know, okay, this peaceful man that has a stick, you know, uh, and now he's sharpening the stick. You know, that could really do some damage. Um. At the end, he kind of has this, uh, you know, he has a look. Um, it, I guess he's starting to hear things again. He's trying to halluc He's starting to hallucinate. So that was concerning. There it is, man. It seems like all the players are ready. Everyone's in the fight. It looks like Morgan is ready to get in there as well. Um, so yeah, um, everything's coming together now, right? It's episode thirteen. Um, uh, I'm not exactly sure how many more to go this season, but it's got to be at least three more or four more. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm excited for the next episode. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up, leave your comments, let's discuss this. I'm on social media if you're into that, you know, I'm on Twitter, um, Instagram, I have a Patreon account. Uh, thank you so much to all the patrons, you know, you guys are absolutely brilliant. Uh, but yeah guys, so I'm finally caught up, <laughs> you know, once again, I apologize for the delays on the Walking Dead, um, uploads. Um, going forward, I hope to stay, um, up to date, you know, fairly close to sun the Sunday's airs. But once again, thanks for checking this out. Uh, take it easy.